So I'm Carol Parker for MMH, the home of rock radio, here at Stone Dead 2022 with Tigers Pantank and I've got with me Francesco, Jack and Craig. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Thank you. How are you doing? Good. Doing great, especially nice. after that performance. You've played already as well, which is great because I often do a lot of interviews before. So I think it's nice to interview afterwards. So how are you feeling? How did you feel it went? Great, happy, excited, yeah. awesome. It was great. I mean, Marvelous. well, you, t- you, you turned something like like this, and you know, the, the moment we got here, yeah, we were, the reception was brilliant. Yeah, the organization, even even just up to the dressing room, was amazing. Yeah. and then it's like all organized for the next stage, take you to the stage, backstage, ev- everybody so friendly, so wonderful. Oh, it was so like nice. organized, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it's a great festival. I happen to know that in the briefing, the staff have told smile, everyone would be nice. The whole time because yeah, you know well, that's what yeah. we want and it's really <coughs> nice. It's lovely. It well, obviously, those better. that weren't smiling have been lynched and taken away. From yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't want them. We don't want them. We don't want them. But yeah, they only got smilers. Yeah. Well, I caught some of the show. Obviously, because I'm doing this, I caught some of the show. It sounded epic. I got a few pictures, and then I had to link it back to do another interview. But it sounded really good, and the crowd seemed to be absolutely loving it as well. So you're, you're absolutely bang on for this crowd, though, aren't you? Because the history and everything. You've been around ages. I think there's a bit of that, and it's also it's like it's like a rock and roll party band. You know, you know. I mean, we do. We we get some of the most let's say random gigs where we were like a, a metal fest. Yeah. We're like, oh, what, what? Yeah. And then people said it was great. You know, yeah. everyone was intense. Yeah. Three bands intense, and you came on, and we all went. Oh, you know, yeah. just have a great time. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it was inter- we, we, we were talking about it afterwards. It was interesting because a, a lot of the audience, it was kind of like watching, you know, like really watching, carefully watching it, enjoying it, because at the end, they just go berserk. You know, you know, not constantly berserk, just like really watching it, enjoying it, and then yeah. you know, you do a good shout about it. It's great. Oh, that's good. That's absolutely marvellous. So, so you have been, you've been so busy recently, haven't you? You've been, yeah. well, I saw that you did a show was it yesterday in Newcastle? Yeah. Newcastle? And that's 42, no, hang on, near the first ever show that Rob played, so that was significant. And then there was 42 years ago today or so, you were at Reading Festival. Yep. So there's loads of like milestones and stuff like yeah. that. And you've, like Germany, Belgium festivals, you've just done Headbangers Open Air. There was so much, I was like, I can't even write it all down. Yeah, we were, we, we were back to reality. Yeah. Back to reality. <laughs> the, first, the first gig we did, back after Covid, all the carry on, the first yeah. gig we do is Headliner Festival in Madrid. Nice, no and pressure. It was all, it, it, yeah. Can we still do it? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of story behind that. that yeah. Gig. Yeah. It's really Each, every, <laughs> every gig's got a story, but yeah. 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 I just did just the whole thing, you know, any, anything from all organising of it to just doing it to the people who were, oh, yeah. that's, you know, crap, what's going on with... Getting there a day earlier to do a rehearsal because we, yeah. ne- yeah. we did never rehearse with this lineup oh, until God. that day in Madrid. So yeah. it was like, yeah. But did you nail it though? Yeah, no. nailed it. That's what you want. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it this way. Put it this way. The rehearsal, we went, 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 went through it, and we went through. It. Usually, you go through the rehearsal. Maybe you do a song and you go, oh, let's check it again. We decided to go through the set, yeah. and usually a band will go, okay, let's do it again. We got the end of the set, and Rob said, she brought the bar. <laughs> it just and, and, Fran- like, and Francesco okay. said, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. It was. It felt <laughs> really immediately. Yeah. It just felt right. Yeah. Oh no, that's really good. That's really, really good to know. All right then. So what's coming up? Then we can be excited about. I mean, if you do want to chuck in any exclusive secrets for Emma Major, we don't. We don't mind that. We like that. But uh, what's, what's the next? Stuff? Well, the, the big thing is obviously like all bands, you know, they're recording yes. new material. Yeah. So we released an EP yep. earlier in the year, a four-track EP, and that's going to follow with the album. Okay. And that, but the album's not coming out until 2023. Okay. But that is not long to wait, though, is it? No, it's, no. this year's flying by. No, you're so blinking, yeah, you're blinking. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. currently recurring it. Yeah, yeah, we're in the we're in the, we're right, right in the middle of the second phase of production. Yeah. So there's there's half the album done yeah. and with the, with the mixing guy. The other half is about to be presented. Oh, so that's yeah. exciting. So yeah. Yeah, and that will be released uh, released uh, across the world. Yeah. So uh, you've got a, ja- a Japanese release that'll have an extra track. You've got the Northern Territories of uh, North America will get an extra track. So there's yeah. always yeah. yeah. So Great. lots of things. People will be collecting them all. Plus also, has it got a fancy cover? There's, got, there's, always, oh, the there's always a Gene Simmons yeah. in every band. There is. <laughs> 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 good point. Good point. Yeah. Well, I'm imagining some nice album artwork as well. It's yeah. always one of your things. Yeah, I think. We, we, we got that last. 
Yeah, yeah. Last, oh, last week. Yeah, first time we all saw it. First time last week, yeah. Uh, it's a guy called Andy Pilkington. Yeah. He's, uh, it's just, yeah, it's like a bit of a... Just great artist, a great videographer. Yeah, and, yeah got him on board. And yeah, first look was. Yeah, that's a, that's a good first try. Oh, dear, yes. like yeah, that. so yeah, because we, we keep on following the path, but we don't want Imagine to have the album. Uh, title with one of the tracks. Okay. So yeah. we want to we want we, we want to come up with a concept yeah. that, in a way, it doesn't matter if all the people get it, but we need to know that there's a concept behind yeah. it, that, probably that kind of uh, make, make, uh, is connected to the song. And so Andy was was you know really on board from you know phase oh. one. So we said that we, we gave him the title and he came up. It took some time, but it came up. Yeah. It's something we've done. It's something we've done. We've, we've, we've since we've been in the band, we've always stuck to. We don't yeah. put like the opening track or any track as the title of the album. Right. Yeah, the album is has its own title, yeah. its own meaning. It's, all, it's, it's like it's, it's the spine of it, you know, yeah. for everything else to connect yeah. rather than yeah. uh, rather making a feature and almost oh that must be the single. Everything resonates yeah, around yeah, that. Yeah, it it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna care for it. The other, exciting, the other exciting thing about, well, not, to, not so much coming, but about the Madrid gig was it was Francesco's first gig with the tables. So we dropped straight in, so one rehearsal, first gig after Covid, no pressure. <laughs> for the, for, it was the first time that actually Francesco oh, met Craig, met. Rob and Hugh. No because way. I we managed to meet while I, I was touring with an, I was touring with another man in Germany and we had a chance to meet twice. Oh, man. So, and I, I kept I on sending it's... photos. Oh, I met here. Yeah, <laughs> you know. that's how it was in COVID. I bet you were doing video calls and stuff, yeah. and so you kind of feel like you know someone, but it's still not. Mm. It's still the same. Lots of emails, lots of lots of yeah, phone calls and emails really. Yeah. yeah. But but we you know it, it just it, it worked in so much as that it was okay. We've got some material. Let's you know bounce it back back and forth. Yeah. Um, each just just yeah just give me it give me it. That's why I gave him the job. Yeah. Here's you know. We could Absolutely. do it. That's it. Absolutely. All right, then let's do a few random questions. So you guys, well, you know what? You're all legends in your own right, but have you ever met any have you ever met anyone, a musical hero or somebody that's made you starstruck and go a bit fanboy? Oh. I was gonna say if you met he, he meets them every week, he's well, he interview them every week. And um, Starstruck, sure. yeah. David Bowie. Oh, he has a great, great story about it. Tell yeah. me the story. Uh, yeah, sorry, I love it. So, <laughs> with David Bowie, um, at, the, at the time it was in. Um, in nine, do, do you have to reveal the year? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, it's 1988, <laughs> and uh, I was working with Status Quo, yeah. um, but in the capacity of one of the technicians, yeah. and we went out to uh, Nassau to Compass Point, right. which is a famous recording studio, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah. Rolling Stones okay. recorded there, you know, right. like. anyway, so, so Status Quo were recording, recording there, and they have a huge board up with who's coming in, you know, the dates and the yeah. times, and um, first day was like, yeah, that's so, yeah, like, oh my god, in four weeks, David Bowie. And, and you know, as it built up, I was good. Um, anyway, and he came, and, what have you, and you've got to be just act perfectly normal. Yeah, you know? try to be cool. Try to be cool. cool. Try cool. That's exactly when I'm not cool, usually. That's why I when like this question. Think, yeah, when I'm like, oh, I've got to be cool, I've got to be cool. I'll wait, I'll trip over and fall on him. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't do that. But we had a recreation room, and he had a, he had a guy that was um, a, a, like a, not a bouncer, but he was a minder. Yeah. You know? So I'm playing, playing pool with the minder the next day. Yeah. He's in the corner, he was working on lyrics. For the, for the album, wow. the, the Tin Machine album. And he was in the car and just writing lyrics and then we're playing pool. And you he can that, if you think about it, you, you close your eyes, you think about this, and he's playing pool and there's David Bowie oh, working yeah. on the lyrics. <laughs> well, and then, as we just, I'm just chatting with the mind the guy, you know, that, and then Bowie gets up and he goes, uh, guys, I'm uh, making a cup of tea, do you want a cup of tea? And I, and I you know, like, oh, my <laughs> <laughs> and all I could think of was very English. Like, oh, no, 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 thanks. You did not. I, like, I, no, I, I declined. Yeah, I declined all the things I was about. I was the biggest letdown of myself. Can you believe oh, that? Oh man, you yeah. should have had your Berry Cup of Tea. You never get that moment yeah. again. But yeah, you might have dropped a bit of his DNA in it and you could have drunk it and been a bit part Berry. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a, little bit of you, a little bit of you inside would have been him. Oh, I love that. That's a great story. 
Did you read the lyrics? Did you see if any of it was inspired by Shooting Ball? No, I didn't oh, see him there. Yeah. That's a very good thing. Didn't read the lyrics, no. He was quite secretive in that Because he was writing about you, that's why. <laughs> well, he, he was constantly <laughs> watching you. <laughs> 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 I'm taking notes, maybe. <laughs> that's my story. That's a great story. Any meet, story is meeting yeah, yeah. somebody famous. I remember it was I met uh, Miles Kennedy from Slash. Oh, from nice. Slash, uh, yeah. In Milan, because he was visiting the city, you know, yeah. the dawn. You know. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I stopped him and I asked him, uh, and, and I cannot speak a word, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah completely. Yeah. Um, so then. Uh, uh, I give him my answer about nothing else because yeah. I didn't have the, you know, the chance to ask him for a picture. Of, oh. and I was completely shocked. Yeah, <laughs> that's a proper fanboy moment, though. That's the kind of thing that, like, I like this question for because it's. Uh, well, you know what? When you have those moments, it's because it means more to you. I mean, in this sort of context, I can't go fangirl anyway. I've just got to get on with the job. You know, I can't think like that. But yeah, I think there's always somebody out there that catches you unawares or that you think. Oh my god. Oh, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. If they didn't, I think you're a bit above your station. I think so, yeah. It's just, it's just nice to be down to earth. Isn't, isn't it, it just? Yeah, isn't, isn't it just? Yeah. Jack, you meet them every week, mate. You? No, yeah, but my, 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 my ultimate one is having dinner with John Paul Jones oh, in, a, in a private house. So I went to see him. I went to see him play, <laughs> not, playing not like did, a solo act. Not only did John Paul Jones make him a cup of tea, he made him his dinner. No, no, he didn't make him. <laughs> Trump <laughs> <Yeah>. for, for, <laughs> <laughs> but he played it in a very in a small town, in, lost in the middle of nowhere in, in Italy. But I knew the promoter, so I, I just, you know, just, just kneeled to, and just went, please. That's incredible. I want to meet John Paul And he not only, you know, gave me that opportunity, but he invited me to his house to have dinner. So all of a sudden, I was having dinner with John Paul Johnson with my with, and with my then girlfriend. I was just, you know, you know give me. This is true. This is John Paul Johnson, and we ended up. So the in the middle of the night with him with guitar saying, yeah. Oh, by the way, you know, this song from Led Zeppelin, you know, everybody thinks, you know, Jimmy Page wrote it, but I wrote it. And this is how the riff goes. And I was like, oh, I still have, you know, chills. So like, yeah. <laughs> Jumbo Joe is explaining me one of the Led Zeppelin songs. How they really That's go. incredible. And I was like, And when was that? I was like, Did you have like any. Sort I got a photo. Of, you got a photo. That's good. I got a photo. It's nice I got to a have a little record. I got a photo, and I, I have to admit, I had to Photoshop it because it's me, you know, with him like this, and I've got that sweat. You photoshopped the sweat. That's no. acceptable. That's, That's acceptable. really nerdy. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. said, I had to Photoshop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so acceptable. Okay. <laughs> I thought There's you were saying there was like ten people in between us, so I just moved <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. us together. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, that's acceptable. For and, sure. the, and I got a face of a child. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. no, I think it's that's great acceptable too. It's it's sad when you haven't got the photo. And he was so down to earth. It's just. Really down. Yeah. Nice. That's so cool. That's some really amazing stories there. That's great. And let me think. What am I going to ask you now? If there was going to be a film of your life, who would play you? Oh, what a great question! <laughs> just out of the blue, right? Uh, I know. I snuck that right under my I just saw it there in oh, and I'm like, I'm doing that one now. Crikey! Oh. Do you want to pause that? <laughs> think. Wow. Did you get that? Yeah. In the film in, of your life, who's going to play you? If there was a movie, yeah. And uh, <laughs> of your life, yeah, probably. Who's, who's the movie star who you would choose to play you? Uh, um, yes, oh God, I don't know. Oh God, that's. Uh, do you get some really quick answers? Do you know? Have, yeah. have you got? I've got one for me. Um, Kate Beckinsale, I think she's lovely, very pretty. Not that I think I'm very pretty, but I want someone better. I want some, if I'm going to be on a film, I want someone better than me. So I'm like, I think she'd be great, and she's really funny as well. She does like, she's got like a pantomime horse, and she does the back end, like just to trot around hotels and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's the kind of madness I would do. So I think she'd be up for playing me. So, because I'm, I do some odd things. I haven't done a pantomime horse yet, but. I'm prone, I'm prone to like, you know, somebody leaves a mobility scooter lying around, I'll be on it riding around, you know. So I think she, I think she could do me, I think she'd be right. great, she's, so she's my choice. It's, tough, it's a tough question. You could choose anyone you like, anyone. You could pick Brad Pitt, you could pick Jason Momoa, you could pick John Travolta, I don't know. Yeah, all the obvious ones, no, because, but, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because, because 
thinking of him, I would say, I would say, but he's older than him. But I would say a young Michael Caine would be fantastic. Michael Caine's a great actor, and do you know what? This is even though he's, he's from London, but he, he would, I think, he, you know, he would get your, your yeah, okay. humor, get your spirit, and there you go. Your, so if you can't think of one yourself, pick one for each other. Oh, okay, well, even that's difficult. Too difficult. Um, it's not, these you know, questions are you know, like, What's he called? What's she? Yeah, I know they're not meant to be vexing, but they sometimes are. Yeah. 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 That's that, yeah. That's a good question for completely flummoxed. Tell everyone. you what we're gonna do. We're gonna move to the next question, and if you think of it no. by the end, we'll chuck it back in. Can be a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. why not? <laughs> Mini. It's the yeah. third millennium. Yeah. Why would you? Well, yeah, exactly. There's no discrimination here. Yeah, so. Fluid. <laughs> Possible. Next question. Exactly. Next question. Next question. All right. Then, if you could have, oh, here we go. I'm vexing you again. If you could have any superhero power, which one? Oh, if I could have one. <laughs> and I've, I, I just, I, I, I've watched, have you watched the latest series, uh, the latest Netflix series, The Sand? Oh, it's really good, really good. I just beat him. Okay. Oh, he's, the he's, he's, he's the king, he's the king of dreams. Oh, and so, so he, he, he kind of, he trumps, he trumps everybody. So what, what, so tell me how the superpower works then. The Sandman, so he, he kind of, he, he, he turns into sand, he has a, the, the swirling sand and he can travel in time, in okay. space, or so any, any yeah. dimension, any whatever. Through people's dreams, or he just um, dream, he um, dreams it up and it happens? A bit of all that, a bit of all okay, that. Yeah, I like it. But then he's communicating with other things, because you'll get, you'll get all the characters, you'll get the other characters, the other feelings, if you like. So you've got the despair, you've got, um, what's it, uh, Cain and Abel, you know, the, the brothers yeah. where one kills the other one, yeah. it comes back to life, because it's a daily basis, you know, it's that whole thing. So, the, and the, you know, there's issues being caught. Basically, the Sandman gets trapped through um, just this bad English guy, messing around with all um, medieval, um, Experiments, if you like, and he traps him. And when he traps him, the the, the, the world basically tends to collapse. Shit. You can say shit. It's all right. It's going online, so there's no oh, like rules. Yeah, yeah but everything turns to shit because he's trapped, oh. and he, he would generate the, the dreams, if you like. Yeah. So everyone falls asleep. And it's very, well, not everybody, but most people, especially children. And it's just a story. Well, I think well, this is great because I've now got a recommendation for my next thing to. It even trumps the devil. Right, okay. I'm on this. I'm on this Netflix <laughs> series. I needed a new one anyway. I needed a new series to watch, so that's my next one. Yeah, I'm really cool fascinated. as well. It's something like um, Charles Sutteridge or something. Oh, it's been around a while. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's not familiar. Oh, I'll kind of watch it. Yeah, worth it. Any other superhero has come up whilst uh, super it's been talking? Yeah. I would love to read the other people's mind. Oh, would you? Yeah. Ah. Be very helpful with girls. Hey. <laughs> you know what? Should we leave now? Us women are a mystery, so it probably would be helpful. We are a mystery. Who even knows? I don't even know what's going on in there, but yeah. Okay, there we go. That's another one. Go on, then. A touch of ego for me. Make people more smart. Have the power to make them feel more. More oh, that's really cute. Yes. So you're using your power. I suppose it's because then you don't have to Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So the world would be if everybody would be a little bit more. That's a great right. one. You've used your power for good, for, ev- for the good of everyone. But there's a lot of there's a lot of ego behind that that choice because you think I'm smarter than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. don't. You you're always got to be that little bit smarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. do that. You can do that. That's coming. All right. Then. <laughs> Up there. I'll do you a couple of would you rathers. They're very silly. Do you don't mind that, do you? You don't mind we silly questions. All right, would you rathers then? So, would you rather have vaginas for ears or penises for arms? Say again. <laughs> you didn't expect that. Yeah, no, no. yeah. Vaginas for ears or penises for arms? I love the fact I actually read it out like I forgot my question. He was expecting that, you see. <laughs> You got to explain in Italian. You I get know, it. I know, you better tell me. Okay. Vagina, um, vaginas. What ears? Vagina ears or penis arms. Allora, poi vorresti, preferisci orecchie a vagina o cazzi mano cazzi? I love the fact this had to be translated. This is so fun. Vagina ears. Vagina ears. You could have your big bashy penis arms to bash your drums with. Vagina ears. Vagina ears. Alright, vagina ears. Yeah. Everyone's having vagina ears. We're all just going to sit there playing with your ears, aren't you? Like, loving it. 
Yeah. Maybe we learn something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right then. Um, okay then. <laughs> Let me think. Because some of these won't translate so well. Would you rather I don't have? Know, oh, no, no, no. Oh, would you rather cry every time you're upset or burp every time someone kisses you? Wow. I know it's weird. It's there for a weird reason. It's just I like I like chicken weird stuff. Cry every time you're upset or burp every time someone kisses you. Yeah. <laughs> cry every time you have sex or burp every time you kiss. Crying every time I have sex. Probably, probably crying. Yeah, it'd be terrible, wouldn't it? I mean, you just, just imagine does the bird like it's gonna take it after it or during it. During? Oh, yeah, during. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm thinking the opposite. You know, if it was done to me, yeah, cry. I'd be nice. Cry. Right. Move on. So we'll do the crying one. Yeah. So everyone's yeah. just gonna cry over the sex. Yeah. Yeah. And crying could be a good thing or a bad thing. Birth is a bad thing. It's always a bad thing. Yeah. 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 In a comedy, comedy way, but not when he's trying to snuff. It's nice to watch, but not to be. Yeah. It would be one of the two. I know, it's a bit of a weird question. Would you rather... Uh, all right, let, let me... This is the weirdest question you're ever going to be asked, and then I'll stop with the weirdness. No, don't. Would, would you be... rather have... Concentrate. A 12-inch belly button that sways to the music, or accordions for legs? This is my uh, favourite oh, oh, question. Okay, I, 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 I need... I need uh, uh, say it again. Would you like to have a 12 inch belly button okay. that sways to the music? That sways to the music. Okay. Or a, an accordion, you know, a uh, squeeze box yeah. for legs. I told you it was weird. I love the frown. It's amazing. No, you know, the accordion for legs. <laughs> Yay, make music. And then we just team up and we go on tour. Yeah, so yeah. we're like, that, yeah. and you'd be, wait. Whole new thing. I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow you. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's, that, that round is not coming down. It's going to be hard. Oh, there's loads. But like, I feel like, you know, I've taken oh, okay, a lot of time. Sorry. I've ended yeah. the weirdest yeah. question. Yeah. The weirdest questions you've ever been asked in an interview. I'm just right, imagining the 12 inch belly button. That's awesome. One final thing, this is really nice. Would you, what, what advice would you give to your fans or to people watching the interview? Just a nice piece of advice to help them stay happy and positive. So a Tiger's a Pantang recommendation here. <laughs> But we, we, we're lucky enough. Get some vaginas for it. It's probably it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hang on. That's better. Um, certainly, coming out for all of us, coming out of the other side of COVID, I, 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 even talking with, with many other people about it, I think if you want to do something, to, just to, do it. Don't hold back. Yeah. Don't think. Oh, no, 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 I mean, obviously, there's this financial, you know. Yes. Uh, so you make, I mean, if you can, if you think you can do it, go and do it. Enjoy, enjoy it. Don't you know, sit there and think, oh, we should do it. We should do it. Take the opportunity. There's so many lives lost during COVID because of it and other illnesses, and they've lost out. You know. So, and, and you never know when it's going to happen. Yeah. So, that's true. Say, yeah. Life is short. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And the other thing is that you can, t- if there's a one positive thing about COVID is that you can take a, you can take time off. All of a sudden, yeah. all the schedule, all everything just went berserk. Yeah. But your life continued. Yeah. You survived. So, and that for me, it made me, it made me realize that I, I can take my time. I yeah. can take time off. And there's nothing wrong with saying, you know what. Need a bit of time yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need to have every time such a tight schedule or everything. Rat, rat race. Yeah. Stop. Just take. Yeah. Let's have a because, because yeah, basically, this, this during during the last three years, almost three years, we we, we I managed to record a lot, to write a lot of music because I had. And, and, and the, good, the, the, the good thing is that if you have time off, you allow your mind to be free yeah. and, and, to, and to kind of accept you know, new, new things coming and new, uh, new ideas yeah. instead of being focused on the ones that you have to kind of, you know, you decided, it's not either you have force, but you decided you have to do. Yeah. And then, uh, I can't do those, so, but I can do anything else. And so that goes a bit hand in hand with, now, do what you, do what you want, you'll take, continue yeah. like that. Do it, yeah, you know, don't do it. Do it. And I know I can do it, I know I can do it. All that thing is doing the things, yeah. Like so if anybody, if anybody's at home now, thinking, I wish I went to Stone Dead, 
they should have come to Stone Dead. Come to Stone Dead. You know, and next year, yeah. don't put it, just go, just get the ticket yeah. and come. And I always say that in interviews. I always say, don't be sitting at home, watching telly, wondering why everyone else is at open. Go buy the ticket, go see the show. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Within like time, reason and eight, it's got to be done. The other, the other thing is that I realise that if you say, you can say no, and if it, it's, it's it, in, a, in the most polite way, and in the most, you know, you can even, you know, explain why you say no, and all of a sudden nothing happens. And you always see sometimes that like, I say no to this, it's going to be a nightmare, or, you know, what's going to happen, I, can, I might lose my yeah. job, or, or the boss will get angry, and my girlfriend will not accept it. And then you realize you can say no. Yeah. As long as you explain it, as long as it's, 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 there's a reason why you say no, you're not saying no just because it's funny. This became very deep, but I think it was really nice. Thank you so much Thank for your time. It's been really lovely. Sorry if I weirded you out, but you know, that was that. But uh, I'm in Kath Parker at Stonehead Festival 2022 with Tiger Sports and Tiger with Craig, Francesco, and Jack. It's been ace. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Morning! 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 Morning!